What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Firestone Walker Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. This is their Union Jack IPA. Uh, their core lineup IPA is Union Jack, and here's what they had to say about it. Union Jack rings all of the bells of an aggressively hopped West Coast IPA, but with an astonishing balance that stands out from the crowd. The name Union Jack is a nod to our colonial, to the colonial origins of the IPA style and to the British expatriate who co-founded our brewery. This originator of our Jack IPA family is double dry hop to create bold grapefruit, tangerine, and citrus flavors, all contrasted by pale malt sweetness to rein in the intensity. The result is a tribute to and a twist on the IPA style that put the West, that put the West Coast on the craft beer map. 7% ABV, 70 IBUs. Malts used include premium two-row, Munich, Carapils, and Simpsons Light Crystal. And hops used throughout the process, Magnum, Cascade, Centennial, Amarillo, Citra, Chinook, and Simcoe. Let's check it out. So made a good amount of head there at the very end. I might pour it a, a tad aggressively. I uh, still have just a little bit left in the can. I'll get that in here shortly in a second. But we can talk about the beer meanwhile. Uh, I would call that a gold to maybe pushing uh, pushing towards an orange a little bit. As I hold up to the light, it kind of keeps that uh, pretty similar color. More highlights are pushing more towards a yellow. Maybe pushing towards a... Uh, dare I say, like a uh, um, a pale lager type of a color, uh, your Budweiser, your Coors, that kind of thing. Those are the kind of the highlights around the edges of the glass, but the core is a nice, still a nice gold color. Um, plenty of uh, carbonation going up through the glass, and still a couple fingers worth of head yet. Can probably get the last of this in. Yep, sure can. Um, but so yeah, uh, nice looking beer. Heads hanging around eh, fairly well, I would say. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get a get a taste out of it. Bite through all the all the head. Hmm. So the first thing I actually get is the mouth feel. Uh, pretty juicy. I'm um, kind of evoking all those, uh, all the citrus notes they talk about. Yeah, nice, nice juicy mouthfeel. And then just kind of a, I'm getting the citrus. I can't quite identify um, individual, individual items yet. Uh, definitely getting the grapefruit now. I'd say a little bit of orange as well. Maybe that's uh, the tangerine. I don't know. Don't tend to have a lot of tangerines, but they tend to be similar to oranges, right? So yeah, we'll call that tangerine. <laughs> uh, a little bit of pine in there as well, I would say. Plenty of just uh, like just top flavor, really, for lack of a better term. Not a whole lot of bite to it. Of a, 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 a medium, no, not even medium, mild to medium amount of bite. Uh, maybe coming through a little more, and that hop sensation's coming through a, a good bit in the aftertaste. I can say. But uh. Real nice IPA, especially for me. I'm um, kind of in the the citrus fruity IPA family. It's kind of my uh, my preference in the of all the IPAs. So so yeah, real nice. And I'm getting I am getting the balance as well. Getting a little bit of the malt, especially on the back end for me. I think 
it's kind of the front is is juicy and then medium towards the back half I'm getting the malts and then kind of that hop that hop notes prevalent kind of throughout but again at the very end and as an aftertaste the the hop hop flavor is very very prevalent um, it's it's dominating my mouth right now quite frankly I wouldn't really call it sweet at all maybe just a, a hair of sweetness again I think that's more I'm um, in with the front half I'm um, kind of hanging with the hops or hanging with the citrus notes but uh, re real real great IPA um, I expect nothing nothing less from uh, Firestone Walker so uh, that's uh, their very very good Union Jack IPA and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find links and usernames to all those in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.